Oopsie, what did I do? <laughs> All right, happy Saturday for those who are coming in, happening to be coming in live here on TikTok Live at Bloom Within Love. Those that are coming in love and light and the good shit, I greet you and I welcome you. As you're coming in, I don't know if it shows the title. The title says, When Disguise is a Bad Thing. So I did a live the other day talking about when disguise is a good thing, utilizing the metaphor of Superman, right? Clark Kent, Claritha Kent. When this is high vibrational, when it serves in this way. And so I thought I would come back and talk about when disguise is not a good thing, when it's a bad thing. Now, when I had uploaded the previous video on um, when disguise is a good thing, I commented in the live comments saying that I actually experienced the opposite as well. So let me talk about it. When disguise is a bad thing, first and foremost, point number one is if you're not being your authentic self and it's causing you to be in like this pretend mode because you're afraid of not being your authentic self. And so as a result, when that is the motivation, it can cause you to continue to recreate situations and manifesting people based in that energy. Yep, there goes my ear. There it is. It lit up <laughs> loud and clear. I hear it. Um so we don't want to have to live and pretend in this way, right? We're aiming to align to our, our, our authentic selves. And if we want to be accepted as our authentic selves, we have to allow our authentic selves to show up in the world, okay? So this is the case when disguise is a bad thing, okay? Another situation is... Like I mentioned in the live, the other live, when you are dealing with like a lot of low vibrational toxic people that benefits from you dimming your light, okay? So we hear it said all over the place, don't dim your light to try to fit in. Don't, don't dim down, okay? So people that need your light to be dimmed, they need you to, you know, um, act like you're less than. They need you to play weak. They need you to play dumb so that they can feel, y'all hear me make the joke, so that they can feel like not a loser, right? So it's like a supply. It's like narcissistic supply in a negative way, Okay. So they need you to walk around acting like you're a hopeless, helpless case. They need you to act like you don't know what the hell is going on. They need you to be a simpleton. They need you to, you know what I'm saying? In order to feel powerful, in order to feel accomplished, in order to feel important, in order to feel better than. This is when disguise is not a good thing. And I have to say, it, we may have to balance and navigate between both under the leadership of our higher selves accordingly. Because sometimes we're being guided to step into our power, no matter how uncomfortable that make people feel. No matter, you know, because we're not responsible. It's not our job to um, emotionally manage others, make sure others are feeling okay, happy and comfortable at the expense of ourselves. OK, it's actually fostering toxicity because these individuals need to deal with whatever the hell they need to deal with that causes them to have to be around people or um, what the hell? What happened? Hello. Was that my phone? Anyway, they need to deal with that. OK, that's that's not what we we're here for. They need to figure that out on their own. Why they're so triggered, why they need to um, minimize people or, or make people small or whatever so that they can feel great. It's a disservice to us when we live our lives like that. I'm going to live my life understated because it makes people uncomfortable if I'm not. I'm going to live my life in simpleton energy because it makes people uncomfortable if I don't stay 
in a simpleton energy. So the best thing that I can say is it's a time and a season for everything. Sometimes disguise is good and that Clark Kent, that Claritha Kent mode serves. But it's not meant to live that way forever and ever, day in, day out, the entire time. Just like even within the movie Superman, he's Clark Kent. But he ain't Clark Kent all day, you heard? You heard me? He is Clark Kent. But he only operates that way when he is in certain environments. So when he goes to work in his situation, he's Clark Kent. When he's around a lot of people um, in these kinds of arenas, when he's trying to do intel for himself because he knows he's going to get the 411 bitch, you heard. So, <laughs> so he Clark Kent. But I tell you what, he don't stay there. He, when he leaves, bitch, he ain't Clark Kent, bitch. He, he leaves and he's Superman. You heard? And see, and then another thing about it is when he's around his peeps, look, his real peeps. I'm not just saying like his true peeps, okay? Because he wasn't around his true peeps. He wasn't even on his own planet. But when he was around his mother, his earth mother, his earth father, if you will, those who actually loved him and took care of him, okay, he was in his full authenticity. He was both Clark Kent and Superman at one time. Okay. And so we have to figure out. We have to figure out when we need to be in our Clark and Claritha Kent. And when we need to shift and go into um, Superman, Superwoman energy. You know, it's up to each and every one of us. But at the heart, we're here to work through anything that keeps us in a sense of the false self or illusion to be able to heal and ascend into our authenticity and then to operate in the world in that way. If we're saying we want to be accepted in our authenticity, we have to also allow our authenticity to show up in the world too. Okay. Now, disclaimer, balance, wisdom. Nobody is called to, you know, spill all of their life and every little aspect of their life. That's not wisdom. No one actually lives that way. But we're just simply talking about like the authenticity. Okay. If we want to be accepted, in our authenticity, we have to allow our authenticity to show up in the world. And it may take us some time and, and you know, to get used to navigating that and to get comfortable, you know, ourselves. But that's the only way. We can't bitch and moan about people not accepting our authentic selves if we're not willing to show up. As our authentic selves. This is one of the primary reasons why it's advised we do all of this inner work and become comfortable with who we are and then start showing up as who we really are. Because then you're in the position of alignment and manifesting from there. But if that's not what we're doing and we're keeping up the mask, and I'm not talking about the mask in which. We all wear it to a degree, but we're keeping up the illusion of the false self that is not in alignment with our soul's evolution. When we insist on living that way and holding on to that for dear life, then what we're receiving is a direct result. We want people to accept us, then we must accept ourselves and be willing to show up. And then be okay with those who don't. Because just because we're all our authentic selves doesn't mean that everybody's going to be singing your praises. It doesn't mean that everybody is going to like you and get you and agree with you. It doesn't mean that everybody's going to understand you. What it does mean, eventually you'll start to sift out what's not in resonance. Because if you're being you... Not perfect, 
but authentically you based on your own soul's resonance. And if people don't like you and accept you, then good. You see? Then they are eliminating themselves. And which is leaving space for what does. This is without judgment for what does, right? Doesn't that feel better? Like as I be thinking about stuff, I be like, man. Shoot, it sure feel better to not be trying to fight tooth and nail to make motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? It sure feel, I'm just saying, it sure feel better to not be trying to convince people that, you know what I'm saying, that it ain't even in them for whatever reason. It feels better. And we all can use, you know, self-improvement. So this is not about lack of growth or being closed minded but it is about being able to be you no one else is here on this earth to fix you see when i started releasing that it's like no not now nobody nobody we are all here to learn and grow prospectively on our own journey hopefully we're complementing one another or compatible in some way you know in a loving energy because most of that shit people be doing is just projection. It sure will feel better to just manifest, bitch. Attract, bitch. You know what I'm saying? Being you versus you doing splits, cartwheels, somersaults, bitch. Hurdles and shit with fire flames. Okay? <laughs> Putting on 12 masks, bitch, because you can't please unpleasable motherfuckers. You can't please people with gaping holes within themselves. And they can't even please themselves. So it's futile to even attempt. You'll be jumping hurdles, bitch. Jumping, jumping, jumping hurdles and shit. Still not happy. There's still something else to fix, isn't it? I prefer it this way now. <sighs> when disguise is a bad thing, it's a bad thing when it's causing us to stay attached to the illusionary self, to not accept ourselves for who we are, and to feel like we can't show up in the world as we are and then be upset that we're not getting people to accept us as <laughs> I hope that makes sense do a test for yourself I'm always advocating people listen whether you're listening to me or anyone else at the end of the day do your own due diligence. Be somebody that takes the reins. I don't care if it's guru, one, two, three, leader, one, two, three, whatever people are calling themselves to be. At the end of the day, it's your life. It's your life. Your soul has its own soul's blueprint, journey, and lessons, and perspectives. It's yours. It's not the other person's. Whoever the other person's is. It's not theirs. It's yours. And theirs is theirs. You feel me? I tell people this all the time. You have to live with your decisions, my friend. You're the one. Everybody else is going to go home after everybody getting their groups and then they meetings and talking about shit. Everybody's going to go home to their prospective lives eating chicken and ice cream. Okay, while we all shooting off at the mouth about our opinions. It serves us to get a grip in this way. If you're troubled with your decisions, them people ain't fencing to listen to me. They ain't going to go home and be troubled about shit. They at home... You know what I'm saying? At they beach house, having a barbecue, bitch. They eating snacks. Yer. 
That's why I've had to learn, like I take shit with a grain of salt now. I take everything with a grain of salt. All right, y'all. I'm going to get going here. <laughs>